So I think the best way to see what's happening with lenses in some of these new paintings is with video. And I'm not really sure if this is picking it up. But you can see that certain parts of it light up at certain angles, usually just before my shadow passes. And then stop. And it looks very different as you go through the different angles. I have two light sources on this coming from behind right now. One is a, um, a compact fluorescent bulb and the other one is one of those daylight, art light type bulbs. And you can see some of the normal reflections and sparkly things and you can also see this sort of row of retro reflective glass beads of different sizes. Right there, that's there their condition. And there are also some retroreflective tiny glass beads up in the corner. Uh, there are some medium-sized ones here showing up on the right side, but up above them, and they give you almost a holographic effect at certain angles. Let's see if I can get that into the condition. So what you end up with is a painting that's very, you know, interactive as you move through the room. It really changes with the light, both with normal sparkly things and with the soft glow that you get from retro reflections.